charge you five dollars for every copy of Run Your Neck to watch the mermaids get dressed, men and women. And even the policemen have a jazz band, and they play in the beginning of it, they say we can still arrest you, we'll still make a policeman. Now by the way guys, look down here. See the park at the end? Look at that guy's apartment on the second floor. That's Union Square Park, and doing 9-11, there were a lot of kind of like versions held in that park, and protests to stop the war in Iraq. Now we have a stop right here. Does anybody want to get off at Union Square? Okay, now there's another filing basement foot block down there. Ready? I've got nobody getting off. Right, no one? Okay. like the shell. Can you see the lion heads beneath the balcony? You see the detail in their faces? Remember the women were painted over trash? You couldn't see the detail? Now listen, didn't I say that you could put this on top of it? Well, let me show you where. Now look. See, it's the same with this. See the two heads painted pink? And you see the square with the star that used to say Macy's? Do you see that? Now remember I showed you the memorial he made? Now if you were to jack up this building two more stories from the heads, wouldn't it? sit on top of that memorial from the Titanic and give that an I mean, that would, give, that would be an infrequent to this, wouldn't it? Now, you see where it says Foot Locker and Starbucks? These two buildings were built later. They tore down to the pocket store. The only thing that's here is the payroll building. Now, folks, look downtown. See that new building? You see the one with the green dome, the round dome, and the one with the symmetrical dome? The one with the round dome is the one that had the banner during 9-11 and said, well, that was again. I'll show you that later. The train that runs below ground now used to be above ground, and that's where, that's where King Kong pulled the train down. Do you understand? Now, do you see the school that says Pratt? Do you see that banner? Now, do you know that that's a college in Brooklyn? Now, I went to Pratt. Do you know the actor Rob Lowe? Now, he went to Pratt. He was a friend of mine in school. He was better looking then. That's why I got into so much trouble. Now, do you know Betsy Johnson, a dress designer? She went to Pratt before me and Rob Lowe. Thunderbird, the famous car. The two guys that designed that car with the Pratt. Pratt uses a photograph of that car but works that way to advertise the school that say, let Pratt drive you. And you know the plane is still farming? Kid that designed that plane with the Pratt. Now, how many people are here from England and Ireland? Well, listen up. Pratt has an infant play of the, at the library, which is a replica of the very infant play of Canterbury. And when we graduate out of the library on doors, he walks to the portal, which is an A-frame. It's like a vestibule that sits exterior, outside, do you understand? When we walk through the protocol, they hand us our diplomas, do you understand? Now, you know what they wanted to do? They wanted to tear, they didn't want to tear it down, but they wanted to move it to put a class underneath the big the library. So, you know what they did? They got ready to throw it away from the library and move it. So, you know what I did? I drew it. I knew if they moved it, it would be a climax when it happens. So you know what they did? They took the A-frame off and they drove it away from the library and they wrote the names, still names around the columns and the steps so it wouldn't shift apart. Then they dug it underneath and it put wheels like a plane and pulled it away with two tow trucks. You know what they did after that? They hired two guys from Liverpool, they called them scouts, Irish English. They were pickers, they only had to put an auction where the protocol used to be. They gave me the old doors because I drew it. The guys, See this pretty, this pretty townhouses in the right church? We're in Greenwich Village now. Now it's named after a town near London. Now we get the time for Greenwich, don't we, England? Remind me to celebrate you with a ball of that urban queue you made in Yorkshire. You guys, look to the left. See this hospital? It's called St. Vincent's. Now during the tragic times of 9-11 and the Titanic, victims were run to this hospital. Now, do you see this staircase, guys? See the wall around? See how it gets straight? That's where family members and friends on the left here put their photographs hoping that their loved ones will be fine. Now look over here, guys. We're going to stop here for a second. You see the shadows of the towels? A woman with a pottery shop 
You guys can stand up now. I got people to do artwork on all these tiles. The words of healing, poetry, and closure for people that suffered a tragic loss during 9-11. Now listen, when the photographs used to be across the street, you can look at them and maybe walk over here and find clothes with some of them. And you know what happened to the streets no. on the corner there? I'm good. In 2006, a strong wind came in and marched and pulled a few of the photographs off the wall. So they put the photographs over here. I mean, it disrupts the champion this. Now listen, one day when I was in a tour guide, they had a black gospel choir in front of all the photographs. That day, all the family members and friends, doctors, nurses were outside. They had their own services for 9-11. And folks, two blocks down here is a fish and chip place called Salt and Batter. And it's English owned and all the guys that work there from England. So you know what I did in England? I had them order an old patchouli. Do you know why? That was my girlfriend's father's favorite. Now, do you guys know the North of England? My girlfriend was from Burnley. You know Burnley, right? Up to the other wall in Blackpool? That's right. Now, folks, listen. Uh, do you know that we're going to pass by the studio of Jimi Hendrix? Come on, remember him? And guess what else? Uh, guys, if you look over here, do you see the building with the clock tower and the dome? I mean, the, the steeple, do you see it? Do you know that this used to be a courthouse? Do you know why it's a library now? Let me let you know why. You see, what used to be where this garden was, was the woman's house of detention, right next to the courthouse. Do you understand? But the problem was, they didn't like that very much. So you know what they did? They tore that down and turned the courthouse into a library. Do you understand? Now, by the way, there were some famous trials in that courthouse. About, now, isn't this a beautiful neighborhood? Come on, guys. You're going to be sad when you leave my city. Come on, tell the truth. Hello. Hey, now listen. Uh, on the next block, by the way, does anybody want to get off and go to Spillage? Because we have a stop right here for the Barnes and Noble. Anyone? And folks, look to the right. See that round dome? Nobody said that's the one that had the band of the table. Don't forget between the new one and the symmetrical one. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to walk through that building to get to the winning one that got damaged during 9 11. Remember that? Because that round dome really is, is the one that had the banner that said we'll never forget. Now listen, when we get to the corner, if you look to the right, I'm going to show you that arch. Remember that? Yeah. And you know who lives behind that house on a private street in real life? Bill Cosby, the actor. Now, do you see this apartment building here? I do hear bagpipes, don't you guys? Now, guys, look to the right. Look to the right. You see the arch? And you see the building where that girl's walking? That's the private street that Bill Cosby was by. Oh, they're right there. Look at that. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, is there anybody here from Scotland? How about Paisley and Hamilton, right? You're wicked, Scotland, mate. Now, now, now folks, listen. I, I pretty much think, I think that's about Scotland, don't you? Being that they have the parade, like... Now, doesn't Sean Connery uh, lead that parade each year? Yes. That's right. Now, by the way, remember I said that Bill Cosby was behind these townhouses? Now, if you want to see how pretty that street looks, uh, when you get to this corner, look look to the right. There'll be a, a red townhouse and a white one. There'll be two columns with balls on top. And this side looks more intimate because that apartment building throws it off. Do you understand? Now, now look to the right now, and you'll see when we cross this slide. Oh, the Collins Retino. That's how you get into the private street where Bill Cosby lives. Now also, folks, have you guys seen uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or have you seen it? You haven't. You guys are bad. Now listen. Do you know, you've seen it, right? Ireland's man is your mate. Now listen, you're gonna get even with him, aren't you? You're gonna see it later, aren't you? Now listen, you know why I'm getting at that? Because I'm gonna show you the hand that made St. Patrick's made this church way before it. Are you gonna listen? You know who got married in this church? Tom Trump, the smallest man. Now listen, look to the left. Do you know that if you've seen St. Patrick's, you're going to know that the same hand that made that made this. This has one steeple, but doesn't it look like St. Patrick's? Because some architects have styles like artists. Now, folks, I'm going to show you something else. Are you ready for this? 
Remember Abraham Lincoln? You know that he gave his famous... Now listen, look to the right. This big building is NYU Film School. It's where Spike Lee, Kosezi, and Kevin Costner went to film school. Now folks, you see these loft buildings? You know that artists got to own these floors? For no more than $250 a floor. It was called sweat equity. Now guys, this used to be rough like Glasgow. Right, Scotland? Now yeah. Scotland, if you know Glasgow the way I did through my girlfriend's eye, who danced in the Scottish ballet, women can not go in the bars unless they said F off mate. Am I correct? Okay. I'm talking 1979 to 81. Do you understand? Now do you know that this was rough too? That artists could not bring their families out there until after 5 o'clock when the wheel barrels and the trucks were home. Now look at this artist's floor. See that? Airplane hanger window. Now you know what that floor is worth now that he paid $250 for? If you were an idiot, $2 million, we had to pay more. Do you understand? Now do you see Leica Gallery? They're on the fifth floor. I use Leica. Now do you see these cobblestone streets? There was a woman that got the city to use cobblestone. Do you know why? She was sick and tired of the rust driven buggy splashing mud on her building. Now you see these floors? See that first floor of Shumania? See how the guy's living on the second and third floor? If you were a sculptor, wouldn't you want the ground floor to bring in steel and stone? Do you know that you can rent that out to a store now and have a farm and do, and do, and do bigger pieces? Now the sculptor and other painters took the upper floors for the light. Do you see what's happening? Now do you know when the artists got bored with the village, do you know what they did? They started here and they went all the way downtown. That's how Soho got so popular, do you understand? And have you heard of Dean and DeLuca? They got started on the backs of hard-working artists. Do you know that the Lucas sold cheese in Little Italy? Then when the artists got some cooking again, we teamed up with Dean. They started in a store no bigger than a candy store. Aren't they big now? Now guys, look, artists are living in all of these. Come on, look at this. Now, when my city was industrial, guys, listen. Do you know that this building with the green corners ran every last cable car in Manhattan? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's like a building that can run freight trains. Do you understand? Look at it. You see the two women in the oval window? See it says the cable building? Now, folks, you see the DKNY sign? Get a shot of that. Can you see the World Trades in the end? Do you see it? Now, guys, when we cross this street, guess what? We're going to...